Hey yo, what's up? My name is Rob and I am the author of Machine, the Hip Hop Beatmaker's Missing Manual. And today we're going to talk about chord mode on Machine. Are you at the point where you're tired of making sample based hip hop beats or maybe even house beats using your machine? You know, it took me a while, but eventually I got to the point where I wanted to move away from sample based stuff so that I could start producing more original music. And that was for a few reasons. One, of course, is the legal reason. And the second was because sampling for me started to feel really restrictive creatively. I didn't have a ton of creative control over my sound. So recently I've discovered that using machines chord mode is actually a really awesome way for you to sort of bridge that gap between sampling and having live keyboard skills. Okay, you don't have to have extensive training in music theory in order to be able to create great progressions and melodies when you use machines piano chord mode. So like I said, it's a really simple and easy way in order to up your melodies and up your game with Machine. So what we're gonna do right now is we're gonna jump on over to Machine. I'm gonna walk you through some beats that I've made using the chord mode. And I'm gonna show you from beginning to end how I put together a beat using chord mode. So let's jump on over and handle this business. Okay, okay, let's get started. Um, if you've paid attention to almost anything that I've done in the past, you already know that 90% of the time I'm starting with my drums first. I'm gonna build out a drum groove with some hard drums, drums that vibe and have the energy that I want before I move on to the melody. So before I show you what I'm exactly doing with chord mode, I wanna reiterate that, all right? So first I'm gonna make sure that the groove is tight and the drums. So I wanna edit this drum pattern to make sure that things are grooving properly and I'm getting the right energy and the right vibe before I move on to chords. So I'm gonna let you listen to what this sounds like first. All right, basic groove. I've got uh, a few different things going on, both uh, organic and synthesized sounds that I really like the way that that works out. So I'm satisfied. Now I'm going to move on over to the chord mode, all right? So the first step in the chord mode is to really find a sound that vibes with what you're working with, all right? And there's an easy way to do that. I'll go ahead and delete all this stuff. All right, so I'm going to keep this drum looping. And I'm going to jump into the instrument section. I typically like to work with the keys, okay? Specifically, the electric keys. And I find that that really works with chord mode. So I'm going to let this drum pattern loop. And I'm going to go in and find a sound that really works for me, okay? So let's go ahead and do that. Oh, and really quickly before we jump into, I'm going to load up a sound first. All right, and then jump into chord mode. So this this way I'm gonna audition of a bunch of different sounds once I've chosen the chord mode. So I'm gonna jump in, select this sound, press the pad mode button, oh, excuse me, press shift and then pad mode to jump into keyboard roll, piano mode, and then press pad mode. And then under chord, I'm gonna select the mode to chord set. And then I normally start with the minor chord. So let's just jump straight to minor eight. All right, so that automatically puts me in chord mode. To reiterate that, just to make sure you got it, once you select your sound, just start with anything in the beginning, press shift and pad mode, and that's gonna lock you into keyboard mode. Once you're locked into keyboard mode with the 16 levels, you're gonna press pad mode, and then under chord mode, you're gonna select, scroll on over to the chord set, and then typically I select, I start with minor chord just because that vibe sort of fits with whatever I wanna work with. So at this point right now, I'm gonna let this drum loop ride and I'm gonna sort of substitute individual sounds to try to find a sound that sort of vibes and gels with what I'm doing with my drums, vibes with the energy. So I wanna to listen to the tone of the sound and just sort of figure out what fits, all right? So I'm gonna let this loop and I'm gonna sort of experiment and I'll let you see after that's done.
And uh, this is a, another important note, guys. As you can see, when you throw on instruments and sounds on the machine, they've got a lot of sort of reverb and not reverb, but effects added to it, creative effects. I typically tailor all of these individual effects chains more towards what I'm working with. As you can see, once I turn off that phaser, the sound sort of gelled a little bit more, all right? And it sounds kind of good, actually. So I'm going to go ahead and keep working with Alright, so I don't really like where that's going. It sounds way too churchy. So I'm going to go ahead and, and mess around with another sound. And um, as of right now, I'm sort of changing around the chord type. And this is the most important part about the chord mode. Is that it makes sure that everything is in key and in tune with each other. So you already have a few different chords. You have, let's see, 12 different chords that you can play once you choose the chord mode that you want. That allows you to remain in key and in tune and it makes it a lot easier okay so that's um basically this is the experiment experimentation phase so we've loaded up chord mode and i'm going to find a better sound that works with the vibe of this doesn't sound so like neo solely and um can sound a little bit more interesting so let's let's go ahead and experiment and i'm gonna land back on something and i'll, I'll record in a melody after i figure out something good Alright, so I like that. I'm gonna jump in 
and record those four bars and sort of make sure that it's in timing and then uh, we're gonna go from there. Okay, so that's the basic guys. I don't want to get too complicated, but I jumped into the art mode and um, basically what I would do now at this point is build the beat a little bit further. I'd have to add a bass line. I need to add probably a secondary melody, something more um, precise. As you can see, when you do the arp, it sort of makes the notes really staccato and sort of stand out amongst that original, the chords that are in the background. So I take this the next step forward, all right? I'd mix things, I would um, start to arrange the beat. I have videos on both mixing and arranging that I'm gonna link up in the description as well so that you guys can watch those. But these are my basic strategies to using machines chord mode. As you can see, it was super simple. Just start with some decent drums, search around to find some chords that work, adjust the timing of those chords to make sure that things align correctly and you can just start building on that vibe it makes it super simple and super easy to get things going i am not a trained pianist as you can see all right but it makes it really easy to make something a lot more musical than just sampling by using the chord mode all right so if you found this sort of technique interesting learning about chords and progressions and you are the type of person obviously right now that wants to take your music and your skills on machine a step further. I've got something crazy for you. If you at this point right now with machine want to get yourself to the level where you can utilize techniques like this and chord mode and the arpeggiator and mixing on machine to get yourself to the point where you can bust out really creative beats on machine without having to think about what to do, I recommend that you go ahead and grab yourself a copy of my book. All right, it's called Machine, the Hip Hop Beat Maker's Missing Manual. This is just a little insight into the book. It's 89 pages, packed full of information, just like the techniques that you just learned. I'm breaking down and explaining the more advanced features and as well as the beginning, be more beginner features of Machine. I'll teach you how to use Machine's creative effects to mix your music. I'll teach you how to find samples if you're still a sample-based producer and you want more of a sample-based style. This book has also got something for you. All right, I'll teach you more about building hard drums using Machine's drum synth. There's a lot of great information in here. Also talking about how to use Machine's scenes group patterns and sounds to arrange and whatnot. This is the only in-depth guide in the world that's focused on teaching you the skills that you need in order to make 
album quality beats using your machine. So start to finish creative workflow on your machine, all right? So here's the great news. I know you're probably thinking, what's the catch, man? How much does this thing cost? Well, to be honest with you, I normally sell this book for 49 bucks. And even at that price, it's still a great deal. You know, it's well worth that investment. But over the past few years, I've sort of learned that the more people that get their hands on this book, the better my brand becomes. The more I'm able to expand my reach, the more people are really to see the value that I have to offer. So what I'm going to do today is I'm going to hook you up with a copy of this book for just a book, all right? Literally $1, no catch, no hidden tricks, none of that. So click the link in the description of this video, or if you're watching this on the blog, there's a link below. And you'll be taken to a page like this where you can find out more information about exactly what's inside of this book. I'll tell you what's inside each one of these chapters, specifically what you're going to learn. And uh, just click your, click this button right here. You'll be taken to the order form where you can sign up and enter your name and information and your payment information. Like I said, is literally $1, no strings attached, and you'll be up and running with a copy of this book in no time. All right, so grab your copy of this book. I promise you it's going to be the most intelligent investment that you've ever made in machine, all right? You're going to be able to maximize the value that you get out of this $500 or $1,000 piece of equipment. You're finally going to understand how to use this properly, okay? So get your price, get your copy of this book before the price raises. I look forward to seeing you in future videos. Again, my name is Rob of HipHopRally.com. Subscribe to my channel below to continue to get more free, awesome content um, on machine and on production. So I look forward to, to speaking with you, man. And, uh, I appreciate you watching this video. I'll holler at you later. Peace.